Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna do a quick Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to stabilize your footage using the warp stabilizer effect. Uh, what this affects is video that might be a little shaky that you need to improve. So when I do product reviews, um, sometimes my footage is not perfect. You can see from that that it's a little shaky. It's not fantastic. But it was something that I did handheld and it can be easily improved with the warp stabilizer tool. So we'll just go into our effects panel, which you can get to if you're not seeing it by um, going here and going to effects. You can click on that or hit uh, shift plus seven and then you just type into the search warp stabilizer. We'll drag that onto our footage and the warp stabilizer will start and it has to do its analyzing this goes a lot faster when you have a really good video card um, you know which I have the you know GeForce GTX 1070 from Asus it's the Strix version and so that's going to let the warp stabilizer you know work relatively fast even with me doing screen recording and having some other things you know taking up uh, power in the background it's still moving pretty quickly and it's gonna stabilize our footage and you'll see what we get from the default settings one of the things I will say about this is that you might have to tweak your adjustments and your sliders uh, from time to time to get this to work for you but in most cases with handheld video footage from a DSLR mirrorless camera the fact is that it's just gonna work automatically, so you're typically fine. Okay, and it looks like it's about done here. Uh, this didn't take too long, uh, especially all things considered. We're gonna see how that came out. That's considerably better. Let's go ahead and uh, toggle this just a little larger so you guys can see what's going on. Not bad, right? That's actually really nice, smooth footage. And this is 4K video footage. That's also why it took so long. This was shot on my Panasonic Lumex G7. So you can see that our warp stabilizer uh, did a great job of uh, just getting that to be a little better and it's using the default settings here set for smooth motion set the uh, you know smoothness to 50 percent and you know we've got sub warp space we've got stabilize crop and auto scale so you can tell that's why it actually you know scaled this a little bit from its original size it you know it did those things but that actually just helped the footage overall and so now we've got something that's usable and doesn't have shaky cam going on this is great for those of you who are doing handheld videos for vlogging or if you're doing uh, product shots like I like to do this is just a great tool for you and it really is simple to use overall now again I can adjust these settings and it will try and make this a little smoother so I'll do this at like let's say uh, about around 70 percent and we'll just see what happens it'll have to recalibrate that and it just did so let's see how that came out So you can see that that's actually a little better, um, and I do like that. But you know, you can just tweak your settings as you see fit. Uh, sometimes going up to 70 won't have a great effect for you, but in my case, you know, it all worked out uh, just fine. So I'm gonna mute the track here, and see that's actually pretty smooth. There's just enough motion going on there, and it works fine. So that's how you guys use the warp stabilizer. There's really not a lot to it. Uh, just try and get your footage as steady as you possibly can. But if it's not perfect, you can go in and you can use this tool. Sometimes, even when I'm using slider footage or using um, you know just other stabilization rigs, a shoulder rig, or doing hand holding, I like to go ahead and throw the warp stabilizer effect on here just to get a lot smoother footage. You've actually seen this in my product review videos, whether you realize it or not. I hope this video helped you out. If you guys are interested in me doing more Premiere Pro video editing tutorials and showing you the tools that I use to do my uh, YouTube video editing and my general workflow, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I really want your feedback. What effects, what tools, what techniques do you guys want me to show you with Adobe Premiere Pro or other software?
Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.